This Good Morning Northwest Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. All right, it is 6.53 on the dot. Time to get you ready to take on your Wednesday here in the morning sprint. Now, Sydney Charles has details from D.C. on the historic House Speaker vote. Ariel Drayden is previewing uh, some upcoming pumpkin carving classes for you and the kids. And we will have above average temperatures all week long. Mark Peterson has your forecast. But let's get right to some breaking news here about a plane crash in Oregon. Two people died when a plane crashed into a house in Newburgh that's southwest of Portland. The only other passenger on board is a 20-year-old from Spokane. She was life flighted to Portland and rushed to emergency surgery for a broken back. 911 started getting calls around 7 o'clock to report a plane spiraling toward the ground. The fire department says no one was inside the home at the time of the crash. The cause is still under investigation. As soon as we learn more about the woman who was injured, we will update you on TV and on KXLY.com. And more breaking news overnight. A mass shooting at a historically black university in downtown Baltimore injured several people. This happened at around 9.30 last night at Morgan State University. At least five people were shot at the school where students and alum had been celebrating homecoming week. Right now, there is no suspect in custody. More than 75,000 healthcare workers are walking off the job right now in what is being called the largest healthcare strike in U.S. history. That is, after unionized healthcare workers, including nurses and EMTs, failed to negotiate new contracts with Kaiser Permanente. Unionized staff are asking for increased pay, job protections, and solutions to fix labor shortages, but the strike does not currently affect workers here in Washington, whose deal lasts until the end of this month. For the first time in the history of Congress, lawmakers have removed the Speaker of the House. Eight Republicans led by far-right Florida Congressman Matt Gates, and joined by all Democrats voted to remove Kevin McCarthy as Speaker. Now that the House is left without a Speaker, no legislation can be brought to the House floor. Sources say Majority Leader Steve Scalise is calling members to gauge their support for him if he throws in his hat in the ring for Speaker. Ohio Congressman Jim Jordan also not ruling out a bid, and another name being floated Oklahoma Congressman Kevin Hearn. Coverage on this story will continue coming up on Good Morning America. We look at what we have right now in our first alert weather and the first alert weather app would be great, certainly with the changes coming next week. Uh, we have low 50s all over the place. Cheney, you're at 45 degrees. Deer Park, 52. It's 53 into Coeur d'Alene. We will see a clearing condition throughout this afternoon. Plenty of sunshine. Winds are going to be light. It's going to be a beautiful day. We're going to see temperatures into the upper 60s. Getting there. 2 o'clock 66, 6 o'clock 66, but again, 68 will be the high between them. Well, this man, 62-year-old Roger Herndon, is missing. He suffers from dementia and was last seen in North Spokane near Illinois in Hamilton. Roger is 5 foot 6 and about 100 pounds. He is bald and has hazel eyes. If you have any information on his whereabouts, call Crime Check 509-456-2233. A new report looking into the housing market of Kootenai County reveals that 80% of county households are currently priced out of the market. This study compares the housing market in Kootenai County to what it was in 2016 when interest rates were much lower and the annual income needed to own a home was just more than $40,000. Greta Gissel with Connect Kootenai says this study shows that things are much worse than they were just seven years ago. And if nothing's done, it will start to have an impact on average local workers who will no longer be able to live in town. For more details on the study, go to KXLY.com. With increased prices in Coeur d'Alene, more home buyers are choosing to live in smaller cities like Rathdrum and Post Falls. But the population of Post Falls has nearly doubled over the last 10 years. And that rapid growth means more drivers on the roads and the need for improved infrastructure. Here at Ritter's Garden, they're bringing you everything fall to decorate your homes to get it ready for this season. This During this season, they'll have opportunity for you to browse through plants that have survived the winter. Also, decorate and carve a pumpkin of your own. Take a look at your screen for some upcoming events that they plan to have here at Ritter's. They have a kid's pumpkin carving October 8th, putting your garden to bed October 15th, build a Halloween terrarium October 15th, and an adult pumpkin class October 21st. Staffing shortages are causing local paramedics to work extra shifts every week. While there is a plan to relocate staff within the department, the Spokane Fire Department says it wants to maintain current levels of service for now. The Fire Department says as of now, there are no plans to relocate units or to cut budgets. 
All right, there's a very good chance your smartphone will let out some sort of a screech this morning at 1120. The federal government will test the emergency alert system, but you should also receive a text message explaining that this is just a test, so don't be too alarmed. All right, nothing to alarm you in your forecast. It looks great. Mark is up next.